Welcome back. I'm MJ Haggis, and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. Right. We're still at the trailer garage here with the bandit. The paystar has gone back to the vehicle garage. We're going to do the sawmill one. It's oversized cargo and metal beams. We're going to use a Kiki more, even though it has got the wrong crane in it, but it's got the right trailer for two lots of metal beams. So that's what we're going to do from here. And the metal beams are just at that yellow arrow, just up the road. On the map, just to make it even clearer, it's just over the bridge, nice and easy. I do have a vehicle ready to go at the garage, and we're just going to the sawmill. Couldn't get much easier than that to start with. I say that, it could all go wrong, but I'm hoping it won't. Right. This guy awake yet? Oh, he is awake. Okay, time to go. set it up so the trailer I brought out there it was good for repairing and refueling the Kikimor so I just then sold it and bought it again so we're absolutely like we've just come out of the garage we just gotta go in here again Ooh, okay don't know why I got some damage there oh and I'm getting a little bit of lag something I have yet to figure out what it is that causes those little lag spikes Gonna make it in. Ooh, that was close. Right. And I'll probably just go straight out of that other exit in front of me. Do lots of these. Yes, please. Boom, boom. I considered just using the bandit in the trailer again, but I thought, ah, do you know what? It's straight up the road with no major troubles so I might as well just get it done the next part is going to be the tough part tougher, tougher part not tough because we know the route Ouch. keep on forgetting of that and the next one is deep look at that, look at the weight, crikey anyway yeah we know the route for the oversized cargo but anything can go wrong watch out for this little bit nice and easy chant trailer Get the sawmill. Oh, I, I forgot that glitch through there. Crane, I thought would hit that sign, but it doesn't. It's rather fortunate. Couldn't get much easier than that. Now let's get this guy out of the way to let the other vehicle in. Right, this guy's going to be going back to the trailer store. I'll point up selling the trailer and get the Kiki more back to the garage. Just as it is. So that'll be straightforward. Right. And the one I got out was the Voron AE. Been a while since we've been in this guy. I obviously remember to switch to mud tires. Vanilla truck, vanilla tires, mod trailer. Mod trailer is listed below in the comments bit or the description, just in case I haven't uh, mentioned to any new subscribers. Okay. Four slot trailer so it'll fit nice and snug and we just have to go over to there. So again I'll point up just going round the block, see if we're doing any reversing. Here we go. Oh crikey. Did you see? Right, let's just I'm gonna do that again. Look at the trailer sink down when this gets loaded. Whoa, realistic weights. Shh. 
Okay. Let's test the Voron out. The Voron's good. I like its speed when it's in the high ratio. It just kind of plods along at a very comfortable speed. It steers nicely, as in quite quickly. It doesn't it doesn't get ahead of you. Get out in the road and I'll set a couple of waypoints. I know roughly where I'm going anyway, but I'll show you in the map. And it will refresh my memory. I'll do there. And break on. So we're going to cut left, I think, at this first, or cut right, left as you look at the map, but right from the cab, and we'll head all the way over and then south. Shame there's not a diagonal one over the hill here, going that way. And there's no way you can get across that, so that we're not even going to bother. So yeah, it's going to be a muddy trail all the way to there. And then all the way south. Don't even need another one after that. It says follow the road. Yep. Simple as that. And then once that's done, that is the last task. And there's no more contracts in here. So it'll be bye-bye Zemnigorsk. But we're another day closer to season nine, guys. Another day closer. Go on, Voron. I've always really liked the Voron. It just seems to be, it's like a Tega. One of those trucks that can just kind of just do everything. Doesn't complain about it too much. Oh boy, this, the realistic mud and the realistic weights. Or am I stuck on something? Oh, I'm stuck on a tree, that's why. I thought it had despawned. There it goes. There it goes. Got a nice high snorkel in this one as well. That makes a huge difference. In fact, if I hadn't put the snorkel on, it's right by the top of the bonnet or the hood. You'd have been probably picking up some damage otherwise. Oh, I'm stuck. I didn't even realise we were stopped. Have I got caught in something else? Right, enough of that. Let's get a winch out. I'm not wasting any more time. That one will do nicely. Oh, I definitely feel like we're stuck on something. There it goes. There it goes. a tough old crossing for some vehicles. Do you want to get out of the mud? Well, we are almost the top of the tyre deep in mud. Go on, Voron. There we go. Come on, climb out. Don't make me use a winch again. effort. That is a seriously heavy container. I wonder now then with this mod, the realistic weight and the, the mud and the, the water, if they've completely changed the weights of the cargoes. Like metal beams used to be the really heavy one. Um, but I wonder if they've, they've made things like cargo containers as heavy or heavier. No idea. Don't know what they've tweaked in the settings, but yeah, it's it's not a light load, that's for sure. Whoa, what the am I going over? Okay. Round the rock. 
Oh, okay, kind of round the rock. You're gonna let me get into high ratio. Yes, you will. Beautiful day for the last time we're going to be here. Let's see how long that lasts before the rain rolls in. Come on. Look for the solid ground. Same as I always have to here. Another reason I like the Voron AE. Permanent diff lock, permanent all-wheel drive. Nothing to think about except the accelerator and brake and steering. Obviously. Now fuel. I never even thought about fuel. I don't think this trailer comes with fuel. And I've got no roof rack on this guy. It's gonna be close. If we get to the sawmill without needing fuel, then great. Because obviously the Kikimor's still there, we could just borrow some of his fuel out of his roof rack. But there's no backup plan as such. We go right, because I know this ground here is quite solid. some torque because even when you're starting to slow down in high ratio it just keeps on going it doesn't want to bog down so much that you're going to stall like even there I'm almost at a standstill but it's got that much torque it's just spinning the wheels so I'm gonna have to drop it anyway just to get some grip but immense torque Keep it going. Don't tip over though. Don't tip over. Thought it was going to go there. Oh, there's a the rain. I knew it wouldn't last too long. Sunshine that is, not the rain. I bet the rain's on for the rest of the journey. Left here. So has anybody else tried this realistic weights mod? Got an opinion on it? I am curious. I'm going to probably keep it in. In fact, I know I will. I'm going to keep it in for the next uh, DLC drop season nine. It does it does improve it? In my opinion, so I'm going to just keep it in. I do like to use as much vanilla stuff on a new region that drops. I'm curious about the new trucks we're going to get. Are they going to be any good? Like, when we had the Pikes come in, I thought, oh, that's a small truck, I'm not going to use it much, but they turned out to be really capable small trucks. Go around, go around, keep going around. Yeah, I really like the V Pike. Great truck that I used extensively in that day. Uh, I can't remember the name of the region for the farming. I think I cut the corner here before. Nice and easy. Oof. I 
think we'll be fine for fuel. We've got a hundred litres and we're on the southward part of the journey. Off that, I think that... Yeah. That slope there wasn't really obvious from the camera angle it was at before, but I just kind of like had an inkling that was going to be dodgy if I didn't correct it to more level ground. Around the outside here, it's probably better. Make it wide. We are zooming along. guys as with the Tegas for vanilla trucks well worth having this guy in your garage I don't think he's that expensive either are we here look at that 79 78 liters lots of fuel left but he's powerful he's fairly efficient on the fuel handily comes with the low saddle and crane so he'll do that Oh, it's just such a good, good truck. Right, let's get rid of this and complete the sawmill. Yay! So, what's he say? I was just a boy when this place was shut down. I used to collect the sawdust from a guinea pig. The smell was divine. Brings back fond memories. Good to see it being brought back to life. Indeed. 5,450 cash, 850 XP, and we have access to a warehouse. Is that it in the back there now? What's the warehouse we've gained? Warehouse delivery, so it's not that, it's not that, so it must just be the sawmill one then. Let's back into that, let's have a quick look, see what they give us. Thanks. Lovely, that's it. Oh, okay. Let's get this guy out of the way. Do I need any fuel? Because they uh, yeah, refuel. Yeah, nothing from this trailer here. It's got to come from something else. Right, engine off. That went surprisingly well. So I need to find something else to do now. Definitely put the engine off. We are clear of this, except for obviously the timed contests. We're not going to do them at the moment. Interesting. Drop off. Oh, that's a that's a time contest to drop off stuff here. So four planks from there to here. Interesting. Well, how much time do they give you? Ten minutes plus for bronze, silver's ten thirty, and eight. Do you know what I'm tempted? We've only. Why don't we just do one of these? Because we're here, we've got a four-slot trailer, and we're going back to the garage, you know? Why not? It's been a while since we've done one, and we'll do it in the vanilla Voron, not the Kiki more, that will clearly do it without a shadow of a doubt. So which one was that? Warehouse delivery. So that's the one at the back of this bit here. Your delivery. Hmm. That's probably a bit too, I say, easy, but a bit too close, and I want to go back to the garage. I'm going to need to get some fuel. Definitely going to need fuel if I'm doing this kind of shenanigans. Why have I got the map open? I need the fuel. The... Nope, let's close that and go forward, get it from the trailer. Really? Oh, phone's ringing. Let me get the phone. 
that's interesting. I thought it was close enough to the trailer. Come on, it's messing about here. Refuel, there we go. Now back it up. Be close enough? Yes, it is. Right, guys. What time? What time do you think I'm going to do it in? And I'm going to go all the way to the right and up this way. And this eastern road is a muddy one. I reckon. Let's get some proper waypoints so I don't get lost. Kind of not that way. Anyway, I reckon I'm going to do it in 8 minutes 30 for gold. 8 minutes. Right, that's good because that'll take us to half an hour. Right, let's accept and go. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. First of all, I need to get it around to the afternoon, so we're going to have nice daylight for this run. Now that's better. Beautiful day for this. Accept and go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I haven't picked up the wood! Oh. How many of you were shouting at the screen? You haven't got the wood yet! Where's the wood? How much wood? Right, do I need to pick up the wood then? You do not... What? I thought I had to pick up planks. I do have to pick up the planks. Go on, go, go, go. But after that, I didn't even have to reverse. That's wasted. Half a minute. Crikey. Right, go. See if I lose by half a minute. Right, we're going to have to throw caution to the wind here. This is going to be a foot to the floor for most of this. Try and remember all the parts where the ground is nice and solid. Go on, Kikimon. Eh, Kikimon. Go on, Voron. Right, there is some nasty mud coming up, though. And it's through these puddles, isn't it? Let's go this way. Again, it's, it's harder because, well, potentially the extra weight of the the mod and also the fact that the water and mud might make things worse. Might make it better, don't know. Hey, I've missed out a waypoint somehow. That's not helpful. Hey! Go left, go left, go left. Go hit that. How did I miss my first waypoint? Do you know I'm just guessing? Go, 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 go. Two minutes and 25 seconds. It's going to be awfully close. I mean, this is the fastest part of the whole journey. Nicely done. There's this left junction that is there. You can see me ending up on my side. Go, 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 go. Outside. Come on. Go, 
And my heart rate's up. Focus to the max. And it's right here, I think. Come on, get out the mud. Get out the mud, get out the mud. Come on. Loading time. Four minutes. Oh. Come on. either. Now I'm going to have to get into the mud, I think. Won't get much of an option down through this bit. Oh no, come on. Oh, despawn tree. No! It's gone, it's gone. Go, 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 go. Come on. Five minutes there, yeah, I'm not gonna make it, but we're close. Downhill though, that might help. Come on, so close. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Have I? I think I've gone the wrong way. I've gone, the wrong, I've gone the wrong way, I don't believe it. This is not going to work. Just brute force my way through the trees there. Six and a half minutes, come on, come on, we're at the gateway. We're close. I don't know if I've got to unload as well, or just appear in the box. But we're gonna do it with time to spare. Oh. Just as well, really. Come on. Oh, you do have to get rid of them. There we go. I didn't even. Oh, seven minutes, seventeen guys. If you're going to do a challenge, try and beat me on that one. <sighs> Good job, mate. That was fast. Here's your reward. 3,250 cash and 350 XP. That's not bad. And I'm back at the garage, which is precisely where I wanted to be. So this guy's going to go back in the garage. I'm going to sell the trailer and we'll jump back into one of the other maps. Um, probably back to drowned lands i think and do some of the other logging and stuff in there but guys i hope you enjoyed this little episode in the rain ah oh, started off so sunny and beautiful i hope you've enjoyed seeing the voron back out again i really do like this truck as well not a bad looking truck as well guys thank you so much for watching see me again soon bye for now